Glenda, would you get me a coffee, please? I understand things are going rather slowly with the stabbing of the pensioner. You're aware of the shooting on Curzon Street, two dead. As of now, we're forming Operation Blue Jay. We'll take a zero tolerance stand on gun-related violence. We're gonna come down quick and hard on the criminal gangs that control the flow of heroin on the estate. I've spoken to Division and they concur. I'll be leading the squad on this one. There'll be a full briefing. I expect you and Diaz Hickok to attend. The death of your pensioner will have to go on the back burner for a while. Thank you, Linda. That'll be all, Inspector. of the inquiry concerning the aftermath of Operation Blue Jay. The ruling of the committee commend not only myself, but other members of the squad. In particular, Detective Sergeant Terry Hickok, who having tragically lost his life in the line of duty, has been singled out for the Queen's Gallantry Medal for Bravery, along with fellow officer Detective Inspector Alice Frampton. Can you confirm or deny the rumours that a number of deaths on the estate are attributed to a vigilante. Both the findings of the committee and the police investigation have found no evidence to support such a theory. And can I just say on a personal note, Martin, that type of wild speculation undermines the work of the police force and ultimately does a disservice to members of the public who support it. As I made clear many months ago, we operate and apply a zero-tolerance policy with reference to criminal activity involving firearms and the distribution of drugs. Most important, the findings suggest the crime on the estate has declined by almost 30%. With continued help from members of the community, we hope to eradicate the criminal element who have long since blighted the lives of the silent majority.